Brian Callen. What's up, man? Welcome to This Is Our Radio, family. How you feeling, man? Good, man. Good. Always good, man. All right, man. So for the people that don't know you, man, let us know where you're from. My, uh, I'm from Prairie Heights, Illinois. My name's Ryan Connor. Um, I make music for a meaning. Um, you know, I'm not here to make anybody turn up, as they say. Mm-hmm. You know, I want to make sure that everybody knows that there's a problem in this world, and with the, especially with the artists, too, you know, kind of, you know, we need to stop the hate and bring everybody back together and reunite, you know. I could do that. So, uh, tell me what basically inspired you to get into into the music. Well, when I was always a musical kid, you know, I would play guitar and stuff when I was younger, but the reason why I started rapping about things that I, you know, write about now is because when my mother died when I was 14, um, it was very tragic, you know, it was before I started high school, so I had to, you know, had to deal with a lot right then and there, so I just started writing, and all of a sudden, man, just started making all these tracks, that was back in... 2009, and now, you know, I'm at where I'm at now. So, so, just to touch bases on it, so with your, with your mother's death, man, at a, at an early age, like you said, in high school, man, that, yeah, that's real 14. tragic, man, and, and yeah. your mama is, what you know, all you got, you yeah. only get one of them. So, uh, we're, we're losing mom, mm-hmm. man, so, how much did that, how much did that get you to, to drive to, to focus on getting on into that music. Oh, it definitely helped me because, you know, then I started seeing my other brothers and sisters, you know, I'm the youngest child of five, you know, mm-hmm. and they, you know, how they took it, you know, so I wanted to make sure that I can have everybody know it's good to talk about it, you know, mm-hmm. that's why I talk about it in my music and stuff, you know, it's always good to talk about something before you actually, you know, might go off the brink, you know yeah. what I mean? And it feel better out. And that's yeah. the way you could get out and exactly. cope with it. You feel yep. me? That's a better way for you to cope with it. That's the way I was able to cope with the pain, you know? Yeah. So, uh, what you got, uh, you got, you showed me the uh, two albums that you got going on, man. So, give me some, give me some background on, on a few of your albums that you have dropped. So, I have The Truth Hurts, which mm-hmm. is um, all clean music. Uh, a few of them I'm playing the guitar and stuff on. Um, But it's all clean music, and it's basically telling you that the truth does hurt. You know what Mm -hmm. I'm saying? So here you go, you know, just take all this, you know what I'm saying, and deal with it. You know what I mean? We ain't got no other choice but to deal with it, you know? Uh, The second album is a collaboration album with my buddy California Polo Band from California. It's called Il Cali, Mm -hmm. uh, from the 619 to the 618, Mm -hmm. you know? (laughs) Um, So that one's a good one. We did 12 songs in two short weeks. Mm. And we did it, we wrote them, recorded them, boom, all two weeks it took for the whole album, which is, you know, the song Yo Kelly on there explains yeah. how we got together and stuff, so you gotta look that up, it's, you know, on SoundCloud and everything, you know, on, uh, speak real words on SoundCloud. Mm-hmm. So, tell me with your music, with your music being clean, man, you were sitting here and we was talking, and we were saying how, I was telling you, it's, it's competitive out here, you know what I mean, and... How you got to stand on, stand on your brand and stand on yeah. you being you and making your way? Cause it's a lot, it's a lot for everybody to eat. It's enough for everybody, you know what I mean? But like I was telling you, you got to stand in there and demand your peace. You feel me? Yeah. And with you saying you got the clean music and everything, and everybody got a a, a, a different mind state with how the music going and what kind of influence they they basically pushing out. So how do you feel? I know you feel a lot of pressure with that. You know what I mean? So tell me, tell me, what are you going through? How are you getting through it? And how are you dealing with it right now? Well, a lot of people's following the trends of, you know, the music that's going on, you know, yeah. around, and especially on the radio and stuff, which is cool. But I like to target a different audience to where I can make sure that they're going to listen. Mm-hmm. So instead of performing at a club, you know what I mean, do a fundraiser, you yeah. know? Or for an organization, or for a good cause, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? That's when the people are really going to grasp to it, mm-hmm. you know? So then, once I do that, you know, then it'll be out in the clubs, you know? I'll be like, okay, I know this dude, you know? Yeah. So, with, with your place right now, like, how comfortable, how comfortable are you as an artist? Because you produce your own music, bro, from what I understand. You writing your own L's, and you basically doing everything on your own, recording yourself. Like you said, you a you you a jack of all trades. You yeah. feel me? So with that doing it by yourself, uh, that doing it by yourself, how do you feel you should be placed in, inside of uh, inside of this culture 
inside of this 6.8 culture, this rap culture, with everybody doing what they're doing? Well, you know, like you said, I did everything myself. I was self-taught, you know, um, and it's def it was definitely hard, but now it's, you know, I should have some other people take over, you yeah. know, and maybe throw something out, you know, there, mm -hmm. you know, but, um, yeah, so I'm definitely not, not, uh, I'm not one to fit in, you know what I mean? I'm a little bit strange, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? A little bit different. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's hard to, to, uh, get along with everybody else only because of my music, because mm -hmm. they, you know, they want to be known for their music. Well, I want to be known for my music in the right way. Right. You know what I mean? And I don't want to be known for, you know, killing people. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's getting so frustrating. You can't even walk down the street no more without taking, of your, taking the chance of your life being taken, yeah. you know? I don't want to be like that. I don't want to, I want to make sure that, especially this generation, because it's like the younger kids are definitely following it. Yeah. Get in them high schools, you yeah. know what I mean? Get in them high schools, tell them kids, you know, what, what, what they need to be doing instead of living them, you know, some of the life that I live. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and that's like the, and that's what people fail to realize, like, that's the perfect angle, and that's what we need to, to we need to get back to, especially as being a music artist. It's just that music has so much of an influence on a person's life. You know what I mean? And if you pumping out negative energy or bad vibes, it can sound good on the beat. You know what I mean? But you still giving out that that vibe that it's cool to get out here and go rob somebody or kill somebody. Or, you know what I mean? Yeah. Do something so negative. And not try to shed a positive light with doing the music. It's it's a it's a bad it's a real bad influence and it's a trend and it's a very bad trend. These yeah. youngins following it and it's a, you know what I mean. It's yeah. leading to nothing but bad. But with you putting out that good them good vibes, bro, it's good to start right there. Start while they're young, bro, and get get it to them while they're young, so they won't get out and make those mistakes. Well, this like you disappoints me, you know, especially local rap. When somebody puts a song out and says, I'll kill you or something like that, right. you know, whatever. Right. But it's like, come on, man. Yeah. Like, for real? Yeah. yeah. Like, nah, nah. Like, let me make sure how you're going to control yourself on doing yeah. that before you get yourself yeah. hurt. You know what I yeah. mean? So, yeah, yeah it's just, um, it's, it's definitely a good thing I've been doing. And that's why I haven't been really well known for my music mm -hmm. locally. It's because I'm trying to target some other groups I'm yeah. not trying to target everybody that everybody's following on Facebook and social media yeah. I ain't trying to really follow all of them I'm trying to get in the, in the organizations yeah. you know, all my music's clean mm -hmm. you know what I mean and so it's definitely a different a different grasp on, on music and rap mm -hmm. so let's talk about what's one of your favorites what's one of your favorite songs off of your uh, previous albums what's one of your favorites uh, probably the uh on the Truth Hurts album, probably How Do We Know? Because mm -hmm. the first verse, I just start every line is How Do We Know? Mm -hmm. How do we know who's real, who's fake? How do we know this isn't a dream and we're not awake? How do we know when the truth is being told? How do we know if the truth won't be unfold? You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. that's, you know, and I took every, and that, that song took a while to make and write too, because I thought about everything that everybody's doing wrong mm -hmm. and what I've learned in my, you know, getting older. And I'm like, man, how do we know? When the love is real, how do we know when they're telling you exactly how they feel? How do we know if the truth won't hurt? How do we know if the truth won't set you free? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? How do we know how much we can take? How do we know when it's just too much that we can't take it? Yeah. You know? So it's, it's, it's definitely a good, you know, clever song. You know, that's a very repetitive song, and I don't like repetitive music, mm -hmm. you know, like some of the, some of the music, and that's a very, uh, very repetitive one. But, uh, yeah, how do we know? I got a music video shot to that, too, I shot a couple years ago. Yeah. So, uh, let's tell the people uh, what some shows you done done, you know, what's on your resume, what you out here, what you getting into, what's next for Ryan Connor, man? Well, the one that I'm always excited to do every year is the Hero Inside organization, which is part of the Fairview Heights community. Um, it's for heroin awareness, heroin addiction, and you know overcoming that. Um, so I'm um, glad to be a part of that with yeah. Nick Men. I'm yeah. sure you know Nick Men. You doing good? Hey, you doing good cause, bro? Yeah, yeah. Tight. So um, so look them up here on side dot org. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, so the Heroin Side organization, is something that we do every year. Mm -hmm. um, the Peace Fest also in Belleville, right on the square, August 9th. Mm -hmm. You know, it's right around August sometimes. Okay. You know? So, you know, that's definitely you know, like I said, I like to. You know, do those type of shows, you know, where it's, you know, the Peace Fest, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Um, we also got some other stuff coming up at the Food Bar, which is cool, you know. 
it's all right, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? But, uh, you know, make sure everybody else feels my music at these fests that we do, yeah. you know. So, I got a fun, fun question for you before we wrap our interview up. So, if you could change the world, bro, what ways, in a perfect world for you, how would the world be? Well, definitely sharing the love, you know, there's too many, too many people judge as a book by its cover, you know. And uh, I know that's an old saying and everybody's like, well, duh, you know, that's, that's obvious. It's like, well, you know, make sure that you understand everybody's story before you actually look at them and try to tell who they are just by maybe what they're wearing, mm -hmm. you know. Maybe that's why people wear a lot of flashy stuff because they want to, you know, be a, have a persona that they they might not, you know, not be. Um, but yeah, make sure that everybody can get along, man. You know, it's, it's too many too many deaths going on still mm -hmm. for the wrong reason. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's definitely one way I would change the world, man. I can dig it, man. <laughs> so let the world know where we can find you at, man. So Facebook and Instagram um, and SoundCloud at Speak Real Words. Mm -hmm. No spaces, you know, just speak real words. Uh, YouTube, just type in Ryan Connor, mm -hmm. Ryan B. Eats Connor. Mm -hmm. I'll pop up. Uh, yep. Thank you, man, for sitting with this is our radio, bro. I appreciate you. Yes, and we're sir. looking forward to doing it. No problem, man. Appreciate we you, man. We're going to work with you, bro. Yes, and sir. we are out.